Let us now revisit our earlier story where the State House briefing State House is defending the president of foreign trips and the number of delegations that accompany him. State House spokesman Manoe Sipisu says the trips are necessary and the delegation crucial to secure deals in Kenya's transformative agenda. The president has to undertake what is necessary travel uh, and he is doing that. You just have to look at uh, other heads. That's, that's number one. Secondly, we cannot claim the leadership position we, we have in the region and yet shun our obligations to deal with the regional issues that we need to deal with. Uh, the president is called from time to time to deal with these regional issues, and he does that. And he's called from time to time to deal with Kenyan issues, and he does that. Tomorrow, for instance, the president will be in Moyale, where with, pres with, pres with Prime Minister Haile Mariam de Salen, they will commission the Moyale Addis Ababa Road. So he has work like that that he has to do. Uh, on Thursday, the president will attend the regular Northern Corridor meetings in Kigali. Uh, these ones discuss our infrastructure growth development. And he, they have, the presidents of the region have met every two months for the last two years. And you, you can see the result. You can see how movement from the court has improved. You can see how uh, our cross-border people-to-people connections have improved. You can see how telephony connections in the region uh, have improved. Mostly we, we are on one, one tariff in the region. You can see that People from Kenyans don't need uh, work permits to work, to work in Rwanda, for instance. Uh, you can see that uh, we're working on the one visa, one visa rule for tourists, uh, for, 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 for the sector. So, and, and you can see that power generation has, 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 has had clear, uh, clear growth uh, in the region. Uh, so the, those regional meetings will continue apace because you can see the value that they are delivering to Kenyans. But look at FDI over, over the last the, the period the president has been in office. And you will see that the foreign direct inflows into Kenya are also significantly higher during this presidency so far than there has ever been since independence. COP21, for instance, like the WTO ministerial conference that is going to take place here in Nairobi, is a negotiating forum. Countries send their top negotiators to secure the best deals they have. These are not usually one or two day events. Negotiating events, as you will learn from WTO, is at least two weeks and more. And our negotiators, just for the record, are still in France doing the job that they are higher to do. So please watch delegations from around the world coming to WTO meetings. They will give you they will give you the type of uh, signal that you need to see about delegations to meetings. Let's just not peddle stuff without actually taking a moment to interrogate it.